Alrighty, hey guys, it's me again, Sergeant Pepper. Okay, so in this little segment, in this little video, we are going to cover Trucky. It is a awesome, cool, free app. Uh, you guys should all definitely check out. It's a separate install and download. Um, it works with Euro Truck Simulator, American Truck Simulator, and Truckers MP. And, uh, oh, Trucky. Trucky does so many things. It's almost, it's almost actually difficult to go through all the things that Trucky does. Um, I, I, don't, I, can't, I can't even say I use all of Trucky's functionality fully. Uh, but I'm going to try to cover the major main things, the features that I like the most. And uh, I think you guys should definitely check out using. I'll leave some links in with this video for the download sign up of Truckee. You will as well need Overwolf. Overwolf is the program that handles the the overlay components of the Truckee app, I believe. So you will need the Overwolf software and an Overwolf account, I believe, to get Truckee working. It should all be pretty easy to set up an install. Hopefully you've managed to get the app downloaded, installed. You got your account created and you're here with me on this screen okay so this is where we begin in order to get trucky working you must launch truckers mp through the trucky app so just keep that in mind don't launch it through the trucky app you're not going to get the trucky features so just log in business as usual here we are you can notice right off the bat right at the top we got a couple of cool little overlays there that's that's the first bit of Truckee you are going to see. There's a lot of keybinds with Truckee. Truckee's a funny one like that. It reminds me a lot of Varmin Simulator if you play that, or Flight Simulator if you play that. There are a ton of keybinds to remember. I will put all the keybinds with what they do in the description of this video. So it's a lot of, uh, I believe it's alt key combinations. So the first one, Alt O, that brings up your options menu. Um, this also gives you your trucky mouse so you can do things like move your overlays around. You've got uh, so, so, so much, so much in the, in, in the trucky app. It, 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 it is, it is, it is truly, truly remarkable. They even have a little hot keys. Perfect. This is what you want. So Alt O and then hot keys and bam, it's going to show you everything everything you need right there how to do all the stuff the the traffic reports mm, one of my favorites man i love that love that the the information cards too so good um so it looks like actually right on this top bar uh you can you can click into the option window as well right here this is gonna be the uh this is where the traffic alerts pop up and this is where the alert pops up if you send a traffic alert down in here in the customize this is where you can set up what information you show on these bars and windows right so you can see on this bar i've got the server status friends online server i'm connected to server population bunch of empty space my information card, which is actually a separate window. I've got my truck, damage, gear, trailer damage, fuel, speed, cargo, pickup destination, payment, how much time I've got on my GPS, how many kilometers I have. This shows like the real time estimated delivery. So you can configure all of that through here. And there is so many more things, so many more things you can choose to show or not that's that's really it's really it's really cool guys really cool that's that's definitely first and foremost um right there that is one of the one of my main three components of trucky that i absolutely love component number two i guess is gonna have to go straight to the dispatcher so alt d for the dispatcher now this is how you can make cargo you can even make cargo for your own trailers so you can grab 
your own trailer and make a cargo for it right in here. It's very much like the Truckers MP cargo creator, but it, it allows you to use your own trailers. Y you also got two save and load games, which is not usually a concern at all. Saving and loading games in ETS2 is usually very quickly. However, if you're using something like Pro Mods, if you've ever used Pro Mods before, especially in Euro Trucker, you know it can significantly increase load times, like very significantly so for that reason i don't love using the trucky dispatcher for pro mods for our demonstration here let's go ahead and grab a an owned trailer of ours and we can load up a cargo for it real quick you need to make sure that you have your trailer loaded up and ready to go when you have your trailer all set to go and you want to make your trucky cargo, guys, this is very important. Save your game. I personally like to quick save. I just press a button on my keyboard, scroll lock. Um, otherwise, you can just go make a save game. Just, just make a save game. You just need to make a save game. That's all there is to it. So now that you've made your save game, you do Alt-D to open up your dispatcher again. This is where you've got to make sure you select the correct save game to load your cargo up onto. Select your game, your truck simulator 2, map set to base, that should be fine. Um, your profiles, you're, you're gonna wanna set it to, um, you know, your active profile. Hopefully you've been smart, unlike me, when you've named your profile so you can tell what it is. Worst case, you can go into your save game folders, find your profile identifier number, line those up. Um, in here, you can see the save, so you can see the quick save I made, the auto save that was made two minutes before that, and the no name save game that was made just after that. So, select a recent save game. Um, remember, if you do want to use your own trailer, select Cargo Market. Truckee is smart, and it can detect what sort of trailer you're using, and it will automatically give you cargo only only for that trailer uh there is an override i'm not sure i'd recommend using it it could break things i mean you might get away with it i might get away with a yacht on my curtain slider trailer i don't know why you'd want to do that i don't know what that would look like i would recommend against it though um you know sometimes the trucky doesn't even like to work in pro mods so you know i would do i would stick there um, you've got to select your cities. Nice thing about Truckee is you can actually just type in your city name so you don't have to go searching for them if you know how they're spelt. Uh, the drop-offs. Again, this, I have had some problems with this in, um, Pro Mods previously. So, do, do be careful when you're selecting your destinations. If for some reason it's giving you problems, just select a different drop-off or pick up location when you're happy with your selection for city and company click add delivery to save it in the trucky dispatcher you can copy paste this code share it with your friends with your friends throw the code in here and import it they will get the same job as you uh there's also a a link you can use for that as well the update save game you really want to look for this green box here this lets you know that it was a successful operation there's some cool stuff in here too, like latest jobs created. You can see this for other people and you can even see this just for your own jobs. Uh, very, very handy if you wanna share an old job or redo an old job, it's really cool. Once you've got that all done and dusted, what you need to do is load up that save game and you wanna load up that specific save game that you just overwrote. Because Truckee, that's what Truckee does, that's how it works, it modifies your save file. So if you don't load the save file, you won't get the cargo. Yeah, it's important guys, very important, that, that little detail there. Alright, and look at that, on my root advisor you can already see the flag. So keep in mind, especially with trailer cargo, it does not set you a GPS route. Uh, you can always verify your cargo is there by seeing the green flag on the map. So just to verify that the cargo spawned in, fine. And remember, you don't even need to visit the green marker. Just all, all you gotta do, drive 
into this parking spot, pick up your cargo, and it works just like a normal cargo would in the game. There's also a really cool trucky tracker map. Again, I'll leave a link for that. It, you can track yourself, your friends, convoys. It's a really, really cool map. You just load it up in a web browser. Uh, definitely recommend checking it out. You can attach it to your own ID. If you open up the in-game chat forward slash P info, you need your in-game ID. So for me, that's 1631. So P info 1631 and bam, that gives me all of my identification numbers, including the very last one there, the trucker's MP ID 43361. That's what you plug into the trucky map. And uh, that way you can track yourself while you drive. All right, and voila again. We have ourselves loaded up with cargo just as we wanted. We have got our watermelons 20 tons due to the Calais Stokes. Be about a 24 minute trip. There you go. Make sure if you enjoyed the content, you like, subscribe, give us a little comment if you have any questions, if there's anything you'd like to see more explanations on or coverage on in the future, just let us know. And uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. See you on the road. Join our convoys every Sunday.